Welcome to the Walton Pi. Today we're going to be talking about what it means for a function to be continuous. Now, before we get started, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because it really does help me to be able to continue to make these sorts of videos. Now let's get started. So, when we say that a function is continuous at the point x equals a, that means that f of a is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x. We can then also say that a function is continuous on a set D if the above statement is true for every point A in the set D. So in general, we really usually think about a function being continuous if it is not discontinuous. Now, a function is discontinuous if it's not continuous, so we're really saying a function is continuous if it is not not continuous which is a little bit confusing, but in reality it's a lot easier to think about and visualize what it means for a function to be discontinuous than for a function to be continuous. So a function is discontinuous if somehow the above statement is not true. And there's a bunch of different ways that that function can be discontinuous, and those are usually the easier ways to visualize um, if a function is continuous than what it actually means for a function to be continuous. So one way for the function to be discontinuous is if we just say that f of a is not equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x. Now that implies that the limit exists, but that the value of the function is somehow different than that. And these are called removable discontinuities. And in two dimensions, they would look something like this, where we have a function where the limit exists, so that open circle, but the value of the function is at that closed circle, which is some different value. Another way we could have a discontinuity is if the limit is equal to positive or negative infinity. So if the limit as x goes to a of f of x is plus or minus infinity, this is what's called a vertical asymptote in single variable calculus, or an asymptotic discontinuity. In complex analysis or multivariable calculus, it is usually referred to as a pole. We can also have situations where the limit just does not exist. So in single variable calculus, one way that the limit might not exist is if the two different one-sided limits, so the limit as x goes to a from the left and the limit as x goes to a from the right, are exist but are different numbers, then this is called a jump discontinuity, which would look something like this. Now, there's other times when the limit might not exist that are a whole bunch of other different things, and we don't categorize all of them because there's a whole bunch of different ways that they might happen, so we usually just say that the function is discontinuous at that point. An example of this would be the piecewise function, where if x is not 0, it's just a sine of 1 over x, and if x is 0, then it's just defined to be 0. The limit of this function as x approaches 0 does not exist, so the function cannot be continuous at x equals 0. I hope this video was helpful in getting an idea of what it means for a function to be continuous. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe, and if there's a different topic that you'd like me to make a video like this about, please leave it in the comments section down below. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and good luck with all of your math.